So hello everyone, my name is Rohan Johari and today I'm really glad to have the um, general manager of Raymond's Consumer Care, Mr. Ajay Rawal amongst us. Sir, first of all, I really loved your session and I'm really grateful that I actually attended your session. It was really, you know, well presented, well prepared, the blend of sports, the examples, Bhagavad Gita, spirituality and everything. It was really amazing for us. Thank I'm, you really, so I'm really honoured, Rohan. That's, that's so kind of you. Sir, so my first question would be, I would love to know about your journey. A s small something about how, when the spirituality phase started, how did it go? Like, mm -hmm. what was your initial phase of that? Okay, I, I hail from, uh, you know, a very small town of India called Dehradun. And my schooling happened over there. Then, by serendipity, I uh, ventured into you know the sales assignment in Lupin after my graduation. And after performing over there, I realized I have probably something better to do in life. And what I was missing was an MBA. So I you know embarked upon doing my MBA. After that, uh, I got assignment in marketing in IPCA, then Novartis in Mumbai. And while I was working in corporate world. You know, a lot of questions also started arising in my mind as to, is this all to life? You know, do you, do you really only earn? What else makes a life more meaningful? And that is what uh, in last uh, 10 years uh, enabled me to seek answers to questions that I had. So right from attending mind power workshops to hypnotherapy to, you know, why things work, how they work, um, why certain people are successful and certain are not. So all those conundrums I wanted some answers to. Um, to me, honestly, when I did a lot of my study, as they say, when the student is ready, the master appears. And that's what precisely happened with me, my connect with my spiritual guru. I take the positives from there. And he also believes that knowledge is meant to be shared. And that's what I'm precisely, you know, yeah. done at your institute. While working in the corporate world has also given me uh, an appropriate information of how people behave. Because finally we are working with people. 85% yeah. of your success and 99% of happiness depends on other people. Yeah. So how do you manage people? And uh, besides, we also appreciate that certain things will happen, certain things won't happen. Don't be depressed by what doesn't happen. Focus on what you can do in your life and continue, you know, moving ahead in life. Continue adding value and that's what you've seen in today's session as well. I definitely sir, it was really fruitful for all of us. So my next question to you would be about the hustle culture. Like there has been a lot of rat race, there has been a lot of, you know, <laughs> hustle and bustle there you, they head, head hmm. and around. Correct. So what's your take on that? Like how to have a balanced approach towards things and, you know, because I definitely see you a very calm, composed and, you know, well presented person. I realize what is, the, what are the necessities in my life? And do I really need to run around in the rat race? Well, when you are a rat, a rat is always being chased by a cat, trying to hide under the mat, but will always remain a rat. Okay. Can I do, what, what else can I do to, you know, while being in the rat race and still maintaining my equanimity? Um, Another, uh, you know, at this juncture, another shloka of Bhagavad Gita comes to my mind. Chapter 2, verse uh, 27. It says, Prakriti kriyamanani guno karmani sarvashah Ahankar vimudhatma karta hamitti manyate Arthat, whatever is happening, is happening according to the three modes of material nature as, uh, you know, and the three modes of material nature, but a person overridden by ego thinks that he is the doer. So not everything is being done by us. There are, there, are, there are certain qualities. The three modes of material nature are your goodness, your passion and your ignorance. When your goodness is high, you do good things. When the ignorance is high, you plunge. So therefore, it's necessary to gain, necessary to gain knowledge and appreciate and come out of ignorance. So what we are doing when we are in the rat race is we are ignorant about, you know, we, we are... We are sacrificing a lot of other facets of our life by only, you know, being in that rat race. So you have to decide what is the limit till you want to pursue the rat race. Because life is a limited commodity. Tell me how many people have lived beyond 100 years. Right? But a person lives as if he's never going to die. 
and therefore i talked to one of the doctors he says that you know the the life expectancy in india is 70 years at the, at the time of independence it was 35 years okay 70 and the average indian lives 70 years there may be people living 80 90 whatever but that's the average span but we live as if we're going to live for another 5000 years so that's not the case once you appreciate this learning it will give you a lot of peace of mind and then you appreciate how much is your necessity and what how how much importance you want to give to your peace of mind that will you know comfort you whether you are on a rat race or you are not or you are pursuing something that is more meaningful to you yeah very true sir so one more question like it is said like you should be true to your roots that's a very in topic right now so uh, how to maintain that in a corporate world especially like you are evolving every day mm-hmm. every day you get different opportunities every day is a different task you get every day is a new challenge mm-hmm. and to maintain that authenticity with that toxic work culture mm-hmm. like how would you suggest to have a balance in that so um this is a very interesting question actually and it makes me think how वन कैन मैनेज इन सच सिचुएशन चाणक्य ने कहा है कि एक मूर्ख राजा के दरबार से दूर भाग जाना चाहिए ओके सो यू हैव टू रियलाइज वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ टॉक्सिसिटी ना वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज नॉट अ प्लेस वेर यू प्रोबेबली कैन स्पेंड योर एंटायर लाइफ वन आर दोज डेज एन पीपल यूज टू वर्क इन एन रिटायर इन ए पी एस यूज और फॉर दैट मैटर मेनी प्राइवेट कंपनीज ऑल्सो इफ समथिंग कॉम्प्रोमाइज इज योर पीस ऑफ माइंड if something compromises your integrity and if you are not happy in a particular environment irrespective of how much you have tried your best i think in certain cases it is apt to get out of that environment okay because 80% of all diseases happen with all the stress that we take heart disease is not because you know you eat a lot of cholesterol rich food it is because you do not have joy flow of joy and flow of blood is correlated at a metaphysical level kidney stones are lumps of anger stored in the body diabetes is because you do not have sweetness in your life even cancer is resentment harbored in the body for long for 10 20 years usne mere sath aisa kiya tha so i think somewhere people need to appreciate that to live life you don't require too much but our quest is every man has two ambitions first is to earn money second is to earn more money and if you appreciate you know what is your necessity in life then and and life is it needs to be preserved healthy life there's no substitute to healthy life if that is getting compromised no amount of you know work culture or you know organization is is really going to help in any way so in your session you were talking about the role of self help books so i would love to know to your your favorite top 3 books which you want to recommend each of one of us so the first one that i gave the magic of thinking big i think that as i said you know that's one book that every student should read and read and my advice is finally you are free to decide yours my advice is just blindly follow whatever is written in that book and i can guarantee success in fact i would not want to recommend any other book just one just just focus you know that's the clarity of approach that i have you know the clarity is very critical and and i and i see that book as a concoction of uh, what everyone else has talked about in different books okay the second one if you may want to then i will say think and grow rich by napoleon hill the 1937 book that was written by napoleon hill think and grow rich these are i think the two books if someone reads and follows in their life they'll be supremely happy and content with their life as well as make reasonable progress in in their respective uh, journeys of professional or you know business career etc lovely sir so l- last question to you any s- short message for all of us here on campus like anything you want to talk to us about utilize your time to increase your value by learning because only learning contains earning and don't follow get rich quick schemes they don't exist add value to yourself and that's going to make a difference to your life live a balanced life live a wholesome life life is not just about earning money but life is about you know maintaining a healthy happy harmonious uh, environment thank you very much 
थैंक यू सो मच सर इट वॉज अ रियली नाइस कॉन्वर्सेशन थैंक यू सो मच